Is Milwaukee's mud mixer worth it? Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. Here, step in. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Let's get right down to the tacks that are made of brass. Power, does it have any? Honestly, it's not made for everything. So if you're doing drywall, it'll mix any kind of drywall mud you want. You know, all purpose, hot mud, plus three, light, whatever. Anything drywall related, it's gonna do fantastic. Mix all day, no problems. However, it's a little bit different with things like Quickrete, you know, the bags. If you have somebody pouring it in slowly as you're mixing, <clears throat> it can do okay, but it really won't handle thick quickery in a bucket. It just won't. So that's something to consider. And two, something to consider, the paddle can make a big difference. So like say for instance, if you're mixing quickery with something like that, it's gonna take a lot more power. It's gonna move around a lot more material in the bucket, which is kind of what you want. You wanna get it mixed, right? But you can have other options. They've got ones like these mixers. It would take a very long time to mix a, big, a bucket of quickrete with something like this though. So you can kind of make it work, but it's probably not really worth it. Your call. So that kind of takes care of its intended use or what sort of niche it's gonna be uh, performing well in. So that leaves us with features and general feel. How's it do? For one thing, the chuck is right there in the handle. It actually holds it really secure. Doesn't seem to be any chance of it popping out or getting lost. Super handy right there. A lot of those had like a little rubber thing that like tethered it to it somehow and it bounced around. And kind of sloppy, didn't like it. This ace, it has this wonderful light for mixing in the dark. Yeah, no sense, but I like it. Has forward, reverse, obviously. The trigger is big enough for two fingers, which somehow makes it feel like a stronger, more stable grip while you're using it. I like it. It is equipped with an RPM selection wheel as well as a variable speed trigger, super handy. And the last thing, and in my opinion, best thing, is the handle adjustment. Just flip that thing up and you can move it just about anywhere. If you're working with somebody that likes it that, you like it like that, it takes two seconds to change it. Super handy, I love it. So conclusion, is it worth getting? If you're gonna mix something like stucco, paint, anything drywall related, lighter buckets of stuff, absolutely worth it. I'd recommend it in a heartbeat. Something like Quickrete, the buckets, I really don't think it'd work out that good for you. I think it'd burn up and it wouldn't be that effective. Those are my thoughts. Have a great day, guys. Until next time.